the moment, tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us What's up guys, Mitchell with Blaze Off-Road here and we've got a pretty well built third gen Tacoma here in the shop today. We do a lot of these and we make a lot of products for these trucks. This has got to be one of our favorite trucks on the market and we're super excited for all the stuff coming out for its newest brother, the fourth gen Tacoma. So very excited about that. But with this truck, we got an awesome install. We're doing a dual battery system with an anti-gravity. This customer loves to spend multiple days in the same, same campsite. So we do tons of solar for him. Gonna move his ARB compressor that's under the hood. Right now, he's got a couple things going on electrically. He does not have a switching system. He does not have an upgraded factory battery. He does have an air compressor. And so we're gonna show you basically the, on probably on the top end of component wise of the builds that we do and that we offer. And this is one of the more popular build combos that we do, which is gonna be a full throttle primary battery, a lithium anti-gravity secondary battery, a Garmin power switch single kit here. We're gonna move the air compressor to inside the cab. This specific customer has a seat delete going in back there on his own after this. Uh, we have a thousand watt red arc inverter, BCDC 1250D. So all of the best components on the market for this type of build. And before we go any further with this, I wanna say if you guys, like one of the most convers one of the most popular conversations we have that's really hard to have over YouTube and over social media with people, is what you need your vehicle for, right? So this guy and his fiance, soon to be wife, they love spending time out in the woods multiple days at a time, but they have to work remote while they do that. So they use Starlink and kind of do that deal. That's why we're doing the lithium secondary battery because Starlink draws so much power, you really need that. That's also why we're doing the BCDC 1250D. So the 50 amp charge unit, because they really need to take advantage of the little bit of driving time they get with their lifestyle to charge that battery. These are conversations that we have with customers to learn which products work best for them. And we would love to have that conversation with you as well. So if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this clip on Instagram, we love talking to customers about trucks. We got into this because we like trucks. I got into this because I like trucks. I started this company because I like trucks. And so I am more than happy to talk to you about how your hobbies translate into your electrical system. Now, for many people, you're, you're going to be surprised because you're thinking right now, oh, he's going to tell me I need this system, dual battery, you know, a $1,200 lithium battery for the truck and all this stuff. No, I have told more people that they don't need a dual battery than I have that they do need one. And so based on your hobbies and your lifestyle, I'd love to have that conversation, recommend products, this is something that I'm happy to talk to you about, even if you are you know, a year away from doing an electrical system on your truck. Um, I just want people to know kind of what direction they should be going so they're not wasting money early on doing stuff they may not need, right? So if you wanna talk about your hobbies, I'm happy to, to see what best would you know fit what you have going on in your life and your camping style and your lifestyle. Uh, to see what products work best for you. So like backcountry skiers or backcountry, actually better yet, backcountry hunters who are away from their vehicle for multiple days at a time. You know, a lot of you guys like to park your truck and take off for two nights, right? Three nights. We have a wide range of customers who do a lot of different stuff, whether it's, you know, fishing or camping may be your passion, or it might be uh, simply hanging out with family where you want to sit at the same spot for three days without starting your car. And if that's the case, you have more to consider than somebody who drives it every single day because their passion is overlanding. If your car is running most of the time, it's going to be a lot different. So that's pretty long-winded, but there's some thoughts for you. So let's go ahead, jump into this build. I'm going to show you what it looks like now so that when you see what it looks like after, you'll, you'll get to enjoy it just that much more.
All right, guys, so we got this third gen Tacoma finished up here. We did a dual battery system on it, relocated the ARV compressor to inside the cab, put our Garmin power switch single mount on there. We have 400 watts of solar up on the roof, rear power, in cab power, an inverter, all sorts of awesome stuff going on on this thing. So let's jump in and walk through it. Starting over here, we have got a full throttle battery with an SDHQ tie down. Anytime you're running off road, whether you have the factory battery or one of these heavier aftermarket batteries, you should absolutely upgrade your battery tie down that keeps this thing from sliding around, moving around. If you look at one of these and you go look at the one under your hood, those stamped steel ones are not very strong. They tend to corrode away when your battery starts to corrode. It's just not a pretty thing. So we highly recommend the SDHQ tie down, super strong, awesome billet units. Also, we've got the SDHQ billet battery terminals on here. When you're running a dual battery system and you have a compressor and you have an inverter and you have a power system like a Garmin or a Switch Pros or an S-Pod, you have a lot of things that need connected directly to the battery, both on the power and the ground side. So for this guy and every vehicle that comes through our shop, we threw on some SDHQ billet battery terminals to get more reliable and easier connection right at the battery. As you see right here beside it, we also have a Red Arc BCDC 1250D that provides 50 amps of charge to that second battery. That lithium battery is 125 amp hours, as I'll show you in a second. So that thing can put out some power. And with this customer using Starlink, we all know that's pretty much the biggest power draw on the off-road and overland scene right now. So we went ahead and threw on the 50 amp charge unit for him to make sure that he only has to drive a short period to recharge that thing. And it has plenty of room for the 400 watts of solar plus you know a solar blanket like a 300 watt co roost overland solar blanket in the future if he wants to plug that in so he can really sit at camp just all day using that starlink working remote and draining that battery because this thing that 50 amp charger will keep that thing topped off no problem moving back just a little bit more we got the garmin power switch kit this is our flagship kit this is the most popular kit that we sell probably tenfold this thing is amazing it does everything that you need it to do. We have the fuse block here for uh, stuff like your fridge freezers, your aux ports, USB ports, GMRS radios, ham radios, anything like that. You can run through the fuse block that has constant power, whether it has a low voltage shut off or it just has an on off button. That's the type of thing that goes through here. And then the Garmin power switch will control lights, lockers, compressor in his case, anything like that that is switched power. So that guy's on here, and then of course the ground bar tied all together. Following the cables along to the other side, over here we have an amazing anti-gravity deep cycle lithium battery. This is one of their storage batteries. This guy is a 125 amp hour battery, so it has a ton of power output capabilities. And my favorite thing about these batteries is truly the app. The app gives you so much insight to what's going on with your power system. When I was on the road with this battery, I could watch like, hey, we're using the Starlink, so it's drawing a lot of power. We're not driving right now, so we're not getting much amperage in. You know, our 80 watt panel on my roof was only giving us a little bit, and it wasn't definitely wasn't enough to cover the Starlink and the dual zone fridge and the center console fridge of the truck. So went ahead and plugged in 300 watt solar blanket because I was able to log into the app on this guy and quickly connect the battery and say, oh, I need more power to keep this thing topped off so that going into nighttime, I'm not gonna have to run the truck to charge it. So the analytics that this guy gives you are amazing and we absolutely love them. This is sitting on an SDHQ dual battery tray for the Tacoma. This battery is a little bit bigger, so we do have to modify the tray to allow it to fit and then make sure obviously on this side that it clears the AC lines and all of that, but we're good on this truck. Got some terminal fuses put in. We put them in upside down and covered them up so that we don't come in contact with the hood. And then the ground's over here and obviously that SDHQ tie down again because there's no other way to go. So we're gonna go ahead and move back to the inside of the vehicle. All right guys, so under the passenger seat here, we have the Desert Does It mount. Now this mount was meant for an air compressor, right? For the ARB twin. However, we mount a lot of stuff to these things. We'll mount them under both seats of a vehicle in a Tacoma, 4Runner, GX, whatever. And we'll mount stuff like inverters on one side and an air compressor. There's really, you can mount anything under there if it's basically the size of or a little bit longer or wider than an ARB twin air compressor. It's a little bit taller, you start to get cramped under there with all the wiring, you gotta be very careful. However, as you see down here, this guy, we went ahead and mounted 
a Red Arc 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This thing is awesome. We love these inverters. They're incredible quality, put out really good power, really clean power for all your electronics. This customer will be running Starlink with his. So really got to take care of those Starlink units and give them good clean power. This Red Arc will make sure that happens. Now, obviously the Red Arc inverter is amazing. Having 110 power in the truck is incredibly convenient. However, you also need some 12 volt power. So for this customer, we threw in two of the Blue Sea Systems 12 volt sockets, cigarette lighter sockets, whatever you want to call them, aux ports. And he'll be able to charge his fridge, a power bank if he ever needs it for some reason or anything like that. So we went ahead and throw those two guys on there. Back here, we've got the ARB twin air compressor. This guy is mounted to the SDHQ compressor mount for the rear pocket of the Tacoma over here. This is all pretty much a drop-in plug and play system using our harnesses that we offer on the website. So it makes this super easy. The customer will probably eventually go with a goose gear system, but he will retain these factory cubbies. For now, he's just gonna more or less leave it like this just for some more storage and he has a couple dogs and stuff too. So this is more convenient for him. Let's go to the back of the truck. It's also super convenient to have power in the bed of your truck. Toyota obviously installed their inverter. However, it doesn't do well because you have to have the truck drop running or driving and all that. And understandably so, they're an OEM. But this customer, if he wants to throw the fridge back here, charge something or while at camp, plug some lights in, whatever it may be, we installed a Blue Sea Systems panel back here in the bed of the truck. So you have USB ports and another 12 volt socket back here. And then jumping up, we also installed 400 watts of solar on top of this FSR tent ran the wire down the front of it super clean super simple and that'll give him an insane amount of power through that bcdc 1250 unit to help charge that lithium battery while he's using his starlink all right guys thanks for checking out the video thanks for checking out this truck however i do have an announcement we are putting together and will soon be offering for all of you third gen tacoma and fifth gen forerunner guys a complete plug and play drop-in dual battery system this will be with our red arc bracket our red arc bcdc 1250 unit uh we'll probably offer it with the 1240 as well maybe the 1225 the problem with 1225 is just not enough power to charge these lithium batteries with what everybody's doing with them nowadays however it will be complete plug and play it'll be something where all you're gonna have to do is mount the tray mount the battery connect your wires mount your battery, put your terminals on, connect your wires, and you're done. So that's a product we're working on. And it's probably going to be out very, very soon, offered on the website as a pre-order. So definitely stay tuned for that. We'll put the link in the description of this video once it is live. So once again, thanks for checking out this build. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you want a build consult for your truck, whether for us to do it or for us to ship out a system ready for you to drop into your vehicle, Hit us up, sales at blazeoffroad.com. Let us know what you need. We're happy to talk to you and talk through all of these products. We always encourage you to look up every single product that we offer and that we install in these trucks because we are incredibly confident you'll be happy with what you see. Subscribe below, click that like button to help us out. Until next time, thanks for watching.